Aaron from Uganda Spelling Bee. Over 500 journalism students from 10 universities participated in the media challenge which is intended to scout for talent and give them a chance to showcase what they have. Students were required to submit a news bulletin representing core elements of reporting, camera work, editing and news anchoring to a panel of judges. Other journalism categories like photography and print were inclusive of the challenge. <laughs> According to the CEO of Global Media Enterprises, Abbas Impindi, the challenge is aimed at connecting students to media houses for hands-on training and skills. So two students out of this media challenge stand a chance to win a media fellowship with NTV Uganda, which is uh, one of the most amazing opportunities that we have gotten this year. And I want to thank NTV for giving us that platform. So at the end of the day, from the exposure we get, we also find new talent here that's going to be used in the industry. NTV's news manager, Maurice Mugisha, assured students of television support to the media challenge. At some point, uh, talk to some of you independently um, and the universities if you need us to, to talk to you about what you could have done better. Andrew Mwenda, a veteran journalist, received a Life Achievement Award. I'm very impressed that the NTV conducts an exercise like this to spot talent because the biggest problem with journalism in Uganda is the lack of professionalism. The Information Commissioner in the office of the Prime Minister, Moses Watasa, advised students to start their careers as freelance journalists, which could open up their chances to be retained for permanent employment in the media houses. Uh, those of you who are here, Make sure you make the most use of this because I believe this is part of the learning process. Ivan Chimulichigozi, NTV at one.